on my way to the summit at Snoqualmie, where I spent most of my day on a green circle. Here's the board that Svetlana loaned me. Thank you. This is the chairlift I was using. It's a beginner course. Here's a look out at the mountains nearby in the parking lot. You can see that this is a very popular resort and due to it being midwinter break, there's a lot of families out with their children. Here I'm you can see, either. I'm entering the line from this side. This is what it looks like while riding the chair. There's the snowboard. Thanks again, Svetlana. This was the most fun I've had in a long time. Have a look around. This is what the resort looks like. This is over in the easy section. Over there on the right, there's actually a park with trick functions that you can try. I didn't try that today. Here we can see a family, and we're approaching the top of the chairlift now. This is me clicking into the binding. I had the Pro Shop tune it to fit my boots. These are some clips of me riding. Listen to the sound. Sorry about the chaos. It's kind of tricky to snowboard and hold the phone in your hand at the same time. Well, at least since this is my first time up in more than five years, I don't know. I'm sure I could have done better, but that's what it looks like. Here's some more action. It's a little rough, but this is the experience of what it's like. There's no motors. It's quiet. It's serene. You have to watch out for other people, especially on a beginner course, but nobody's going that fast. Here's the chairlift from this angle. Look at that amazing equipment. Here you see it taking people, returning. Look at the industrial equipment up in that thing. Here's the electrical backup generator. It's an Onan. The Cummins diesel. Here we see the main carousel. This is what moves the actual gondola part, or the part that people sit in, and you can watch as people load. It scoops you up gently like this. Off you go, up to the top. This particular chairlift slows down a lot because people at the top crash. Out of respect for them, I didn't shoot any videos of that, but here you can see how the chairlift functions. Didn't get anybody on that go. We can see these guys lined up in the queue. There's a magic carpet there, it moves you along, and then the chair picks you up. It's a pretty cool technology. They didn't have anything like that the last time I was up. It's been years. Oh, there is a little bit of a crash there. I guess I did capture one. That was unintentional though. And the young man writes himself up as another load of skiers exits. There's more skiers than snowboarders. Have a close look at the chair here. This is the magic basket that takes you up. It's re-entering the base. I think it's beautiful. You can also see the end of the magic carpet there. And there's a load of skiers, a father and a son. A lot of family action on this one. We can see the employees scraping snow off the ingress and egress point. You also see the gates there. They didn't have any electronic gates like this when I first saw the snowboarding. Then again, that was back in 1995. The parking lot is quite a work of potholes and dips and such. This is the snowboard on the underside. It's a Roxy edition. Thank you again, Svetlana, for loaning me your board. At 152 centimeters, this is a little short for my height at 5 foot 11, but the easier to turn. It was a breeze. Had more fun than I've had in a long time. Look at this beautiful mountainscape. I'm going home. That was 10 runs.